Hi, I'm Indy. And David. And we're here with Chris excavating the medieval drawbridge pit at Pontefract Castle. We've been here for three weeks and it's the penultimate day of our dig. We've been looking to see if we can find the bottom of this drawbridge pit. So we're here on day one of the second stage. We're going to get to the bottom of the drawbridge pit. But how will we know when we've hit the bottom? So in October, we were down about six metres and then we augured another one metre and a half and we think that's the bottom. It could be a rock. Hopefully it's the bottom. It's day three here at Pontefract Castle. We've made pretty good progress digging down, but we've come across um, some quite large stones and the only way that we can safely get them out is to use the winch. It's day five on site and we've made really good progress. We've still got another metre or so to go down to work out what's going on. So we're not quite there yet. No, not quite there we've yet. We've got two weeks to get there. Yeah. We've been here for two weeks and a three week long project and we're determined to find the bottom. We're here at the end of the second week. It's a little bit deeper than we thought it was going to be. Are you tired? Very tired. <laughs> not sure quite yet how far down it's going to go, but I'm hoping we're going to hit the bottom at some point today or the start of next week. Next week we've got a dig diary coming out where we hopefully are going to have reached the bottom and you'll see all the goodies that come out of the trench. But today, excitingly, we can announce that we've reached the bottom and it's flat sandstone bedrock. And even more excitingly, we've had some finds from the bottom. So one of our key aims was to be able to date the drawbridge pit and we've got some datable pottery which should be able to tell us all about when this was potentially built and used. Such as this handle from a piece of pot, which is very cool. Nice green glaze on it. And we've also got some decorated green glazeware with a nice swirl pattern on the yeah, side. It's wavy. We think it's around the 14th century, um, though we can't be sure, it'd have to go off to a pottery specialist, but it's looking like it could be the late 1300s. So let's cut to Chris, who's in the pit, who can show you more about what we've been finding. It's the last day of work here at Pontefract Castle and I am stood in the bottom of the drawbridge pit. We're about six and a half metres down. It's taken us all of the three weeks that we had to get here and we've really moved at quite a pace. I think last time we were probably about here, so we've gone down a good metre and a half, two metres in places and things have just got more and more challenging as we've gone down. You may have seen before, we had three really large stones at about this kind of height. And we weren't really sure what they were for, but they, they paired up quite nicely with each other and they were at the same level. So they could have been placed later on into the pit to support some kind of timber bridge structure over, over the top here. Um, and, um, well, they've made things a little bit difficult because they're far too big for us to be able to winch out of the hole. So we've had to be moving, <laughs> moving them around. So we dig an area, move the stone down, we dig another area, we kind of work it a bit like a puzzle down towards the bottom so that we can get, get to the material that we're after. And really we've we've achieved what we came here to do. We wanted to get to the base of the pit to see the full stratigraphic sequence through all of the deposits as they've gone in. And it's gone really well at the moment. We're just trying to take as much of this other half out. We're taking environmental samples. We're collecting lots of finds that are coming out. All of that information is going to be valuable for telling the story and trying to work out how old this structure is. We're currently thinking late 14th century but had some interesting chats with people over the past week or two. There's a chance that this could have could have been built a little bit earlier but we'll send all the material out and hopefully in the next few months we'll start to get some information back and be able to date it. Now that we're at the base we can see what it's kind of composed of. It's cut into the natural sandstone here, which um, isn't all just one 
colour. There's various bands going through it. We've got some interesting red bands. The base is actually quite a dark, sparkly red down here. All of the little bits of sand are kind of glistening. And that's where we're at. It's, it's solid. Um, where the camera is now, there's actually, we think, a fissure in the, um, in the sandstone there, and it's actually probably eroded away, which has left this gap. So it's quite variable, the sandstone around here. Some of it has been quarried. When these walls have gone in, there's um, evidence of tool marks as it's gone in, so they've kind of stepped it down so they can fit these large blocks up against the, the cliff face there. The holes are curious. Um, I mean, we've got several thoughts about them. Um, they all seem to be in a line, vertically, but they're a little bit, they're just a little bit off center, which is strange. Um, the one here, I mean, it's quite crude. It almost looks like it's been been knocked out quite roughly. It wouldn't have supported any anything structural in there. I mean, it could be the result of some form of impact. This one is, again, very strange. Um, it's been hollowed out in a kind of like this, but it's it's quite flat. And then, and then actually, it just keeps on going going back. It's very, very odd. I've no idea what on earth that might be. We did think that maybe, because you could put something structural in here because it would sit on the top of these blocks here. Maybe it went across here, but there's nothing on the other side that, at the same level, so we don't know. So we've had a great time out here. It's been a fantastic dig. We've achieved everything that we wanted to. We've got to the base of the drawbridge pit, which means a huge amount. And we'll be letting people know as soon as we know more. So uh, watch this space. Report will come out in the new year and, uh, and we'll know more then. Bye. 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 See you later. I've just stood by a winch. <laughs> Some call it cranky. We call it a winch. <laughs>